going to be comparing a 30 series 8 gigabyte GPU with the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte and seeing what the performance differences are inside of Comfy UI. Now the results I've got so far, these are they. We've got one and a half minutes for a complete execution. We're talking about 28 steps, the kind of standard 28 steps that you need to create an image like this. We've got a minute to complete without loading the model. And the model we're going to be loading, we've already loaded, is the large SD3M, the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium model. That's the largest model that they've come out with so far. So we'll see what happens in terms of five renders and we'll do batch render as well as standard render. And you can see that there's this difference in the amount of time just from loading up the clip model. So that's 66 seconds versus 59 seconds if you change the text in the prompt. So let's get this thing going. It's going to be the 3070 versus the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. So I've just run a prompt whilst the screen recorder was recording. You can see it does change the iteration times. What we're going to do is to switch off the screen recorder, complete the test, and then I'll show you the results afterwards for the 3070. And then we'll move on to the 4060 Ti. So here we are, and there it is. It's two sets of tests run, one for single renders, five of those, and then a batch process of five. Now with the batch process, the advantage of that is that if you have a pretty decent uh, prompt, you can actually get a slight improvement in terms of the performance. The results that we got were as follows. We got for the batch of five, 275 seconds, and that is playing out at four minutes and 29 for five renders. That's the iterations. And it's running at 9.64 seconds per iteration. With the single renders, we got almost exactly 60 seconds, probably one, which is a little bit, there we are. So there's one, it starts off a little bit high and then it just gets progressively lower and then it sticks around 60 seconds for a single 28. Uh, we got 28 steps and that's going to be 2.06 iteration seconds per iteration so that's with the 8 gigabyte model slight improvement when you're doing batch processing but literally you're talking about a few seconds shaved off for each image now the images i'm working with one megapixel they're obviously landscape not bad at all the other thing to uh, take into account is the amount of memory. So here we've got 28 gigabytes of memory, system memory being used up by Python. So we've got now the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. And as you can see, we've done a batch run of five, but we've also done the individual runs as well. And these are the results. Now, as you can see here, we've got a startup render of 73 seconds that's much less than the sort of 85 to 90 seconds that we we're getting with the 8 gigabyte card then the individual prompts 56 seconds 57 seconds they come to a median of around 57 seconds and that equates to a an iteration rate of about two seconds per iteration slightly better than the 3070 and you can see it's taking 56 seconds, a little bit better than 3070. And then we have a little bit of a contrast when it comes to the batch of five. Here we've got 282.55 seconds, which is four minutes 39 for the iterations. That uh, is somewhat slower than the 3070. Now, the main thing to bear in mind here is that the 4060 Ti is one level below the 3070. So if you were to uh, go from the 3070 to the equal one in the 40 series you go for, to the 4070 but you're actually going down one notch but you're getting slightly faster performances on the whole and where you're up where, where you're loading up a lot of models you're getting significantly better at times it's only with the batch processing i think with the batch processing it's probably the memory bandwidth being somewhat lower then for the 3070, you're getting a slightly slower time. You shouldn't be worried. There's been a lot of talk, especially from the gaming gaming guys, that the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte is a waste of time. It's a bad unit. You can see here, it actually holds its own against the 3070. And if you go for the 
16 gigabyte super series you're going to get much much better performance we were running with the low vram condition with the 3070 this guy loads up in normal vram we've got exactly the same in terms of the memory so 25 gigabytes it actually went up to about 29 gigabytes with the 4060 ti 16 gigabyte one but hopefully if some gamer tells you oh the 4060 ti is rubbish you mustn't go close to that it actually performs slightly faster with the iterations than the 3070 the accusations about the low memory bandwidth just ignore those those are not really relevant for what we're doing images it produces they're just the same uh, exactly the same images as the 3070. and we ran high vram mode on this particular set so we've got one two three four five and you can see from from these that the quality just remains consistent there's no diminution in quality uh, we can see this batch here so high vram condition maximizes the use of vram to everything that's available and with the timings quite interesting we actually got a slower timing for the initial load up when it's loading up the the, the model or the models it's slower which indicates that it's actually bottlenecking in the VRAM, the 16 gigabytes of VRAM is actually bottlenecking. And then it's trying its best with the batch and the single and the batch. Getting once again, 439 for the total batch uh, results. And then we get once again, another one where just confirming that it is not actually able to improve with the batch with the batch renders when we look at the individual renders they're once again coming in at 56 57 so what we're seeing here is pretty simple it is bottlenecking on the vram so you will have an improvement when you go up to the 4090 but in terms of the 4080 4070 you're getting faster iterations those faster iterations are going to be what will improve prior to the 4090 but it is leaning very, very heavily into the system memory. It looks like Comfy UI is very optimized for low VRAM or when you exceed the amount of VRAM, it is so strongly optimized. It will move into system RAM. You want to have lots of system RAM. That's the important thing. Improvements will come through with the 50 series. Obviously, that's where we're going to get the faster, uh, more powerful CUDA cores. And it's definitely an advantage to go for the more powerful GPUs, the 4080 Super. When, when, when the new bad boys come through, those are going to be advantageous as well. There are no quality differences if you're running different GPUs. But once you start playing around with the models, you may get quality differences there. And also lots of benefits from being able to run in Comfy UI. Now, there are some versions of, versions of Stable Diffusion that just will not run at eight gigabytes. They just will not produce any kind of output. They'll just produce an error message. And that's where the benefit of the larger memory comes in. It's more with versions of stable diffusion that are not as well optimized as Comfy UI for lower VRAM conditions. But with low VRAM conditions, Comfy UI does a pretty decent job. It's pretty amazing actually.